The first C is color. When it comes to diamonds, the less color, the higher the grade. The GIA color scale classifies diamonds from D, colorless, to Z, light yellow or brown. Each letter grade represents a range of color and is a measure of how noticeable a color is. Truly colorless diamonds are very rare. Most diamonds used in jewelry are nearly colorless with tints of yellow or brown. To provide a universal basis for color comparison, GIA gemologists meticulously assembled a set of master stones representing the color grades on the GIA scale. At the GIA lab, a color grade is determined by comparing each diamond to a master set that has been assembled by carefully matching diamonds to the original set. Let's take a look at our diamond and see where it falls on the color grading scale. Our diamond received a color grade of G. The second C is clarity. Because diamonds form under tremendous heat and pressure, it is extremely rare to find a diamond with no internal or surface reaching inclusions. Inclusions are a byproduct of its formation and actually help gemologists separate natural diamonds from synthetics and lookalikes. The GIA clarity scale includes 11 clarity grades, ranging from flawless to I3. Flawless indicates that there are no inclusions or blemishes visible at 10x magnification. A grade of I3 is for diamonds with inclusions that are obvious to the naked eye. Diamond graders at GIA laboratories use a 10x magnification loop and a microscope to see and plot the inclusions. Since no two diamonds are exactly alike, this unique plot helps identify a particular stone. During this step, graders also look to see if there is any evidence that our diamond was treated to improve its clarity and any treatment will be noted on our diamond's report. Let's see how our diamond looks under 10x magnification. Our diamond has six small inclusions that are not visible to the naked eye, but can be seen at higher magnification. Here, you can see the inclusions noted in red on our diamond's clarity plot. Our diamond received a clarity grade of VS2, or very slightly included 2. The third C is cut. The GIA cut scale is used for round, brilliant cut diamonds and consists of five grades ranging from excellent to poor. You may think of cut as the shape of a diamond, like square cut or round. However, there is much more to cut than the basic shape. How a diamond is cut and polished directly affects the amount of sparkle and brilliance that comes off the stone when it interacts with light. How light strikes the surface, how much enters the diamond, and how and in what form light returns to your eye. A polished diamond's proportions affect its light performance, which in turn affects its beauty and overall appeal. Our diamond is placed in a highly precise measuring device that rotates the stone 360 degrees to optically capture hundreds of measurements and facet angles, enough to generate a 3D model of the actual diamond. Since there is no single set of proportions that define a well-cut diamond, a cut grade needs to be determined by factoring in a range of parameters. After 15 years of research, GIA scientists developed a comprehensive system that factors the diamond's proportions, as well as its culet size, girdle thickness, polish, and symmetry descriptions, and generates a GIA cut grade. Our diamond received a cut grade of excellent. The fourth C is carat weight. One carat equals 200 milligrams, or one-fifth of a gram in weight. Larger diamonds are more rare than smaller diamonds, so all other factors being equal, a single one-carat stone would be worth more than four quarter-carat stones put together. However, the value of a diamond is determined by considering all four Cs, so bigger is not always better. At the GIA lab, our diamond is placed in a sealed chamber and weighed on an extremely precise electronic scale to the fifth decimal place. The weight is then rounded to the second decimal place. Our diamond weighs 2.07 carats.